Aswale Ikoba rides a border border for a living. He also uses the proceeds from this work to pay school fees for five children. But he is worried he may not afford the fees soon due to the continuous fees hikes by the schools where his children study. Bonge zavuli tam. Kuba by then insumeri na ringa insumi siza ako era na chusi za wana lwa school fees inga yeyonge de. Tuwa la abiri mweta anu tuwa genzo kudenga mwemizi mtuwa la satu geza fees izo ka Kati ngo kutema atema abu nubuli mwemi mtuwa longa abu satu weda Zizi mtuwa longa ankaga Ikoba is one of the many parents worried that if nothing is done soon Giving children good education could become a nightmare Paying registration fee, you are paying application fee All that, is, those are all additional costs Which is really making some other parents not to educate their children That's why you are seeing the dropout of children now is high compared to previous years. For instance, the de de development fee eh? is, is paid. Pay. Swimming eh? is also paid. Plus, plus tour. tour. We pay for tour. Kubange, we have to go to Guavana, Kuchigo. We have to go to the center of development fee. We have to go to the center of development fee. Dene tame dako ni wanga tibazi dama kuzisara. Na ya ato genda kutangachiria chintu sente za zibasa vye. Ze yonge ila bulitamu. Ela oedino kusasura bulitamu. Nechiba ila angacha bulijo, cha bulijo, cha bulijo. Last week, social media was awash with excerpts of fees requirements by some schools. With some of the demanded items coming off as strange. This was ahead of the beginning of first term 2017. I'm calling upon the Minister of Education to intervene into this situation. Because if it comes in and they put a standard fee for all students and for all pupils in the private schools especially. It will have parents to educate their children. It is 500,000. All private schools should pay that. But someone pay 1.5 million, one pay, some schools pay 800,000. But who will build the cut? Who regulates how much schools should charge parents? And what justifications can be given for fees hike or even new demands put on parents every term or year? The education ministry licenses private schools to operate but has no control over what they charge parents in fees. The ministry also does not seem to be in control of what government schools charge. There is an argument that Uganda runs a free market where price is determined by the forces of demand and supply. So parents should only take their children to schools they can afford. But Kalungu West MP Joseph Sewungu, who is a member of the Parliamentary Committee on Education, says this is not fair. Education should not be a business enterprise. It must be helping people. Now, what is happening in Uganda now? People began schools. They began to eat loans. How do they survive on these loans? They can create any collection from parents. They Sewungu has now drafted a motion he intends to table in Parliament pushing for amendments in the Education Act to regulate fees charged by schools. In the Education Act, there are no laws regulating schools. And we don't have proper regulations managing them. This is what I'm going to raise in Parliament this week. The Minister must come out to explain clearly. And the major problem we have, most of school owners in Uganda are within government. What comparison do you take as a government to pay 40,000, 7,000 shillings? for USE students and the other schools are charging one million. Many of the schools charging exorbitant fees are privately owned, although there are also some that are government aided categorized as grade S schools. State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. John Chrysostom Moingo, says raising school fees without the consent of the ministry is illegal. Even, one, even if it means one shilling from the fees structure, be it, gov be it USE, be it non-USE, to change any, anything, you require permission from the permanent secretary. So whoever has authorized himself to increase school fees without permission from the permanent secretary, know that what you did was out of error. Mwingo says the ministry has received complaints from the public and has constituted a committee to investigate the issue. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwari. NCV.